and in the system so let us look at design of an omnidirectional antenna system in the worst case it is given as in the worst case now let us look at this one what is the what is meant by the worst case now here it is the worst case is at the location where the mobile unit would receive the weakest signal from its own cell site but strong interference from all interfering cell site for example worst case means if if you take one area in the particular cell site in only one that but one particular area where we are standing for example it, it may be our college building uh, if there is a weak signal and suddenly there are some interference noises or cross connections then that particular zone is referred as a worst case now here what is the main thing you have to prove now we are trying to prove that this so called k equals to 7 which we which we discussed so many times cell pattern does not provide a sufficient frequency we use distance now this seven cell what we use frequently is not a mandatory one to say that it is going to give us the best frequency we use let us look at the worst case let us see this how these cells are given now in this seven cells if we say that this cell site is on which the particular mobile unit is available you can see with this circle here now if we say this this circle is considered as the location where the signal is very weak and the interference is at the peak now when we make the distances from this particular area we go along with these distance areas one d next one approximately d minus r distance one is approximately d plus r d minus distance plus its radius radius of the particular cell site on which we are standing these two are d directly they are directly connected means they are very border these two cells are very border we can simply say they are at a normal distance the remaining are then either it be d plus r either it be d minus r now we go with these conditions one d one d plus r one d minus r conditions distance and radius when we take these things into the formula what we have we know this carrier is how this carrier is proportional to radius and how this interference is proportional to distance from our previous formula this c is directly proportional to radius i is directly proportional to d but to the power of minus 4 when we we know that whenever we calculate this so called value we calculate with respect to c by i that is carrier to interference ratio that equals to let us take this formula substitute this values when you substitute this values here you can get you can you can you can be able to see this r power minus 4 this is with respect to the values what we have for the worst case two values are there that's why i have written two times here two values here two times means two values of p are there two values of d minus r are there two values of d plus r are there now we have the relationship between d r and q if we use that particular relationship q equals to d r the relationship between d r and q there is co channel interference reduction factor when we substitute this one we are going to get this formation that is 1 by 2 into q minus 1 whole power minus 4 plus 2 into q power minus 4 plus 2 into q plus 1 whole power minus 4 we are going to get this formation we are using this formula and we are using this worst case scenario in which the particular location that is worst case location is at the at the distances of d d plus r d minus r these locations are utilized here when you use this in the formula here when we say where if you say k q equals to 4.6 this is the famous value we remember in our uh, this so called interference the frequency reduced distance factors when you use this particular value of 4.6 the c by i is automatically given by 17 decibels but actually to have a good connection from the first chapter we have said that the basic value must be lower than it is it must be a value of 18 decibels but the 17 decibels here it is 
very uh, it is which is lower than 18 decibel then we are moving towards shortest distance that is d minus r directly means we are considering only the short, shortest distance d minus r then what happens is particular all the values will be neglected we take only d minus r as the six cells available for the particular cell size if you substitute that value here we can observe the answer is going to be around 14.47 decibels now once again it is somewhat less value now therefore in an arm direction cell system what we are going to say that not only k equals to 7 there must be k equals to 9 or k equals to 12 would be a correct size but but uh, uh, but we know that these are all mathematical equations when it comes to the practical grounds they are not at all any correct if you go along if you say that far and omnidirectional omnidirectional means in the last class we have seen how this omnidirectional antennas are replaced by directional antennas in the cell sectorization process now we are looking up up to the omnidirectional only it is saying that rather than going for k equals to 7 better to go for k equals to 9 k equals to 12 with respect to the mathematical formula what we achieve at then this values of qr let us look at this values how they will be they will be like this 5.2 for k equals to 9 6 for k equals to 12 then let us use this formula for k equals to 9 and k equals to 12 this ratio c by a equals to 19.25 decibels and c by a it equals to 22.54 decibels as per our theoretical aspect that is the value must be equal to or greater than 18 decibels to achieve a good voice communication we can say this 9 or 12 might be better as per the mathematical approach but once again i am repeating this is only a mathematical approach when it comes to practical approach it is in between 7 and 9 sometimes which is not which is which it cannot be calculated in the mathematical equation now as per this design we can say that this we can choose for either k equals to 9 or k equals to 12 pattern because it gives us the decibel range which is required for a good voice greater than 18 decibels that's why we choose for k equals to 9 or k equals to 12 this is about the design of omnidirectional antenna for the worst case